my name is Jeff Tarrant, and I'm a psychologist, neuroscientist, and a lot of the work that I've been doing is related to EEG monitoring of brain waves, and especially folks who demonstrate some sort of interesting abilities, and in this case, uh, telepathy. And the software that we've been developing, it's actually a web-based software that is designed to, for, specifically for telepathy testing. There's essentially three computers to try to keep everything as separate as possible so that there's no way that anybody else in the triad knows what's happening yeah. uh, to keep it as clean and free from any kind of queuing or interference. One computer is designated as the manager. Then the other two computers, one will be the sender and one will be the receiver. And because it's web-based, we could keep these as separate as possible. They could be in different rooms. They could be in different states and we could do this testing. And so that's one of the reasons we developed it this way is so that we could actually do remote testing so that we don't always have to be in person to be able to get good data. Since the release of the telepathy tapes, our team has had a huge influx of email testimonials from families claiming that telepathy is also in their home or who didn't know their child was telepathic, tested them, and found out that they were. One mother really caught our attention with her email. Laura is the mother of a non-speaker in Reno named Trevor. She didn't realize that her son Trevor had telepathic abilities until listening to the podcast. She started to test things out and realized quickly he was capable of far more than she could have imagined. We connected Jeff, Laura, and Trevor, and they started working together. Trevor, Laura, and Jeff practiced using the software very successfully over Zoom, and then they planned to meet in Reno to give it a go in person. Once it's set up and everybody has their designated roles, everybody hits the start button, and then essentially what's going to happen is the systems will uh, start to interface, so now that everybody's hit the start button, as the manager, you can see my screen is very different. It says select protocol. So at this point, I get to identify what type of test we're gonna do. And right now we have one syllable words, two syllable words, three syllable words, one digit number, two digit, three digit, four digit numbers, and then Zener cards are the options that we have at the moment. So as a manager, I choose whatever test makes sense for the time. And you can see it says, you know, sender confirmed protocol. So the, the prompts at the top have changed. So now they're all talking to each other and it's ready. But what's, what, what's interesting about the way we set this up is that even as the manager, I don't even know what the word is. So even I'm blind to what's happening. So the only person that sees the word is the sender, in this case, liver. The receiver, they've got a letter board, which is set up to be essentially the same format as most of the spellers use. So typically what would happen is it's a touch screen. This isn't a touch screen computer. They would touch, spell out the letters, hit done. At that point, the received word would show up on this computer. And then as the manager, I would see both. I would see the, the sent and received. Then I would have an option to send another word or switch to another test or whatever. Eventually, it's not quite ready for this aspect, but we would be getting a uh, some sort of a statistic that's also showing us like how statistically relevant was that series of responses. Uh, and that's still something that's being worked out, uh, but we should have that in the next you know week or so.